We're less than two hours away from ringing in the new year with celebrations already underway for many, whether they're staying in and watching us or going out and also hopefully watching us. ABC 10's Garish Paul Sanga joining us live right now from Old Sacramento with how people are celebrating. And I got to tell you, Garish Paul, it's looking very festive. You're looking very festive tonight. It is festive all around, Luke, and right now here in Old Sacramento, it was hard to find a parking spot as we were making our way into the area here. So you can just take a look. People are coming by, enjoying themselves. There is a car, a line of cars in a very large area that as people are trying to come in and try to find some parking spots. But a major attraction was canceled again this year, but many did celebrate the New Year's Eve and are doing that and other milestones. Bringing in the new year. Three, two, one. Happy New Year! Some getting a head start on the festivities. Sacramento Shamrock Club bringing in the new year at the Delta King Hotel. 4 p.m. is when it turned midnight in Ireland. From Ireland to Old Sacramento. Yeah, I thought about going up to Tahoe if the weather is not too bad, but just basically having a good time, you know, enjoying the family. Family fun took over, especially during the afternoon, as there was a little bit of everything for the kids and adults. We're having fun so far. We got a fedora, we're getting balloons, a little bit of copper jewelry. I love this area. So, one thing you were looking forward to? Shopping. And? It was good. good. Spending time, you know, getting out, seeing new things, buying, <laughs> shopping. And enjoying the various activities brought plenty of foot traffic. How about for you? Spending time with family on my birthday. Happy birthday. Thank you. And that wasn't the only milestone celebrated at the Riverfront Historic District. Happy New Year. Jonathan and Amy Esposito got married on this New Year's Eve near the old Sacramento waterfront. We just did it right up there on the uh, the wharf and we yeah. just made it a just a quick thing because that's what we felt we wanted to do. Mm -hmm. And yeah, it's our third marriage. So we uh, we picked uh, 1231 23 for the one, two, three, one, two, three, mm -hmm. a once in a century date, helping ring in a new year. Just being able to, to be out and live and kind of enjoy the environment again, enjoy my family. <laughs> And back out here live as the people are still enjoying themselves and more people are expected to flood into old Sacramento. So there was still a lot to do here today, but there is still one thing that will not be happening tonight. No fireworks will be lit along the old Sacramento waterfront on this New Year's Eve, marking it a four straight year that will not be Happy happening here. Happy New Year. Oh, thank you. Happy New Year's Eve to you as well, buddy. So a lot of fun. Everyone's having fun. Carly and Luke, it's out to you guys. <laughs> oh my yeah. goodness. Well, sadly, yeah, the city says that due to logistical challenges, they weren't able to have fireworks right. again th uh, this year as well. But as you just saw from that young man, it's not dampening his spirit at no. all. All right, our Garbage Ball Sangha starting us yeah, off tonight back. live in Old Sacramento. <laughs> Thank you for that.